Canada. Or as I like to call it, Alaska's Mexico. A place where great battles are fought and home to the most lit gaming convention on the planet. They've asked me to stop calling them that. I won't. EGLX is the most lit gaming convention on the planet. It's in Toronto from October 26th to October 28th. And on the 27th, I'll be facing off with the Yellow Menace himself. Zero Punctuation's Yahtzee Croshaw will be on the main stage with something called a sex T-Rex, and if that's anything like what it sounds, I'm very excited. It's been a long time since I've had a proper nemesis, especially one that wasn't a big old doofus, you know who you are. I'm Lyle Rath, and this is Pre-Game Discharge, the only video game show with an extra thumb in its- okay, I don't want to go there. Kentucky Fried Chicken is starting a gaming division. Yes, this is true, this is real. Maybe you're sleeping right now, maybe you're having a stroke, maybe the accident killed you, and you're stuck in purgatory. My point is, check back tomorrow, and if this is still a real video, then you have to accept that this is your reality now. I'm sorry. Dis Discord is launching its game store. It'll be throwing its hat into the ring with Steam and Origin and stuff like that, but it also has something called a universal library feature, which will scan your computer for games on any service and allow you to launch them right from the app, which might mitigate some of that, ugh, another one sort of feeling that everyone sort of gets whenever they have to use a new launcher because some publisher decided that they were special. The Quiet Man is a game by Square Enix wherein the protagonist is deaf and so therefore also you are deaf. But the New Game Plus mode of the game apparently features sound, which is weird. Seems like a huge waste of time to completely do sound design for a whole entire game just as a post-game bonus feature unless playing through the game with sound substantially changes the experience and that's the point. Like maybe they're being artsy fartsy and the artsy fart is one that wasn't as silent but deadly as you previously thought. A gut twisting experience indeed. Rockstar got in a little bit of trouble earlier this week because one of their guys said in an interview that they were putting in 100 hour work weeks. He did clarify later and said it was like four Four dudes on his writing team and they all wanted to do it. There's maybe a discussion to be had there, but it's not like everybody at Rockstar was forced to put in 100 hour work weeks and hopefully the ones that chose to were compensated accordingly. Nobody should be forced to do that kind of crunch, but some people like it. I know personally, I fucking love it. It's not for everybody, but it's not as black and white as it originally seemed like, which is good because it seemed pretty shitty. Hey, remember when Luigi the new Luigi had a green Luigi that second player plays as and I said his name was like Lugrini or something and that sounded like a lie. Well, this is going to sound like a lie too, but his name is actually canonically Gooigi. Hopefully this isn't the last time I've lied about a Nintendo story and it turns out to be true. Not that I've done anything like that ever before, especially not when it pertains to a certain rapper being in Super Smash Brothers. I'm Lyle Rath. And this has been Pregame Discharge. Come back next week, and boy shucks will it be a fucking time.